David Abercrombie built an empire, and he used that empire to build a castle. Now, it sits abandoned in the woods, not far from New York City. And this is its story. <laughs> In the late 19th century, David Abercrombie and Ezra Fitch would start a new company. Its company would open its doors near Wall Street, and Abercrombie and Fitch would become one of the most well-known clothing brands in America. In 1904, Ezra Fitch would become a partner of the company, and the iconic brand Abercrombie and Fitch was finally formed. After spending time in the army and helping to outfit U.S. soldiers during World War I, Ezra Fitch would finally retire in 1928. During the 1920s, construction would begin on his dream house. A Scottish-style medieval castle with, at the time, modern amenities. Construction would finish in 1927 and he would officially name it ELDA, which was an acronym of the first names of all of his children. The total property was 300 acres, and it featured a fishing pond, a stable for horses, and several horse trails. In the year 1937, 10 years after his dream home was completed, David Abercrombie would pass away. But the history of Elda does not end there. So just before you reach the castle, there's this really cool, super overgrown building right here. And that has a little trail going up to it. Wow, just look at this. Incredible. Wow. Look at this. Look at that staircase, dude. That is a cool freaking staircase. Wow. Here's the back side of that building, and then right up there is the main event. Before we get to that, though, let's take a good old Carolina look see here. Did you see the spiral staircase? So freaking cool. Welcome to our house, <laughs> Look at that, the spiral stairs. I love spiral stairs like that. So beautiful. What a cool grand design. Look at this place. It's incredible. 
Oh, these stairs don't look structurally sound. Wow. All the architecture in this place is just absolutely beautiful. Every single little tiny bit of it. Oh, wow. That's just amazing, isn't it? Man, this room is so freaking cool. Check this room out, dude. Absolutely incredible. Such a cool freaking room. Like, look at these windows right here, man. Oh, man, this place is so freaking cool. Such a cool place. That leads downstairs and back outside. Oh, look, a little radiator right there. It's the outside view. I kind of want to go up those spiral staircases. Oh, wow. There's a couple holes in the roof. Oh yeah, I see that. Be careful, there's a hole right in front of you too. Yeah, I see it. Wow. So freaking cool. But if we go to the right, there's a spiral staircase right there. A view from the top of the world, huh? Look at that, man. Just look at this place. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Look at that spiral staircase, dude. It's such a cool friggin' place. So I think this is the most top we can get to. Just step out here. Sorry, my bag got caught. As you can see, Small passageway. My bag's all scraping and crap. Incredible. Gonna head down this uh, spiral staircase right there. This is the one that we were just looking at from over there. Man, this place is so cool. Absolutely incredible, dude. It's such an incredible place. It's absolutely majestic. After David Abercrombie would pass away, 
his family would sell the castle to a company that conducts research on paint products. Throughout the 1950s, it would mostly be abandoned, but it would be purchased again in 1964. James Herrick would be the next owner of the castle. He was the founder of the Herrick Scientific Company, a local company that produces optical spectroscopy equipment. He would live there until the 1980s. The castle would once again become vacant until the year 2001 when a couple purchased it for one and a half million dollars. Their plans of renovations fell through. In 2011, Morgan Immovable Property Corporation purchased the property for $3.75 million, and it's been on the market since 2017. The castle is currently on the market for $3.2 million, and its current owners are seeking somebody that is willing to completely renovate the property and save this historic wonder. The Elda Castle is a very fascinating part of New York's history and an incredibly important part of the history of the Amber Crombie family. Although its future is unclear, the Elda Castle will never be forgotten. To burn up or fizzle alone Can you know who inhabits your skin? And can you trust that you won't blow away in the wind? And do you tether your hopes or let go of the ropes? In the hope that you someday descend. Just follow. Just glide through 